Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over another problem on our derivative collection. We're going to be focusing on how to differentiate the function y equals e to the x plus e minus x divided by e to the x minus e to the negative x. Alright, before we get started, there are some formulas that you need to recall in order to be able to successfully execute the differentiation of the uh, function that we showed earlier. So we're going to go ahead and um, recollect these formulas first and then go ahead and um, start with the problem solving process. So let's go ahead and recall um, the following equations. Okay, so equations to recall. Alright, so the first equation that you want to remember um, is the product property um, of exponents. So if you have the product of two exponents with identical bases, so a to the x times a to the y is simply um, going to be the base with the sum of the exponents. Alright, a to the x plus y. The next equation you want to remember is the formula for expanding the square of a sum or the square of a difference. All right, So if you have a plus or minus b raised to the second power, this is simply a square plus or minus 2ab plus b square. Okay, And then the remaining uh, formulas are basically your differentiation rules that you need to know for, for this problem. So you have to remember the derivative of the exponential function e to the x. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. <coughs> and then a constant multiple rule, the derivative of ax is simply a. And then you need to remember um, the quotient rule. So if you have u over v prime, the quotient rule is as follows. You have v u prime minus u v prime over v square. And then lastly you want to remember the um, chain rule formula for differentiating composite functions. So if you have to find the derivative of a composite function f composed with g of x, the derivative will simply be the derivative of the outer function f prime evaluated at the inner multiplied by the derivative of the inner function. Okay, all right, so these are the equations that we're going to be using to find the derivative of the um, function showed earlier. All right, so the question again, let's restate it is as follows. If y is equal to e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by e to the x minus e to the negative x, the task is to find y prime. Okay? Alright, so let's go ahead and do it. So if you take a look at this function, what you notice is that it's a rational function of two exponential functions. So y equals e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by e to the x minus e to the negative x. Now if you have the quotient of two functions, the first rule that comes to mind is the quotient rule. Okay, So let's say the numerator is u and the denominator is v. So let's label that. So we'll say the top is u. Okay, And then the denominator is v. So we know what u over v prime is, right? u over v prime is going to be, just to review the quotient rule again, v u prime minus u v prime divided by v square. Okay, some people say low d high minus high d low over low low. Whatever makes you happy. So let's go ahead and apply this formula here. So if we do that, we're going to have y prime equals start off with um, v 
v is the denominator function, e to the x minus e to the negative x. So v times u prime, so the derivative of the numerator. Now in this presentation, we're going to go over every little detail, okay? So if it's too slow for you, feel free to, to fast forward it when we're going over the basic parts that you already know, but the goal here is to make sure that everyone understands exactly what's going on in this presentation. Okay, so we have v u prime minus u, the numerator function, e to the x plus e to the negative x times the derivative of the denominator function, which is e to the x minus e to the negative x prime. All right, we have this entire expression divided by v square, okay? So divided by the denominator function square. So divided by um, e to the x minus e to the negative x quantity square. Okay? Now when we are differentiating, we're going to carry out term by term differentiation. We're going to differentiate e to the x and e to the negative x. Now when differentiating e to the x, we already know what the rule is, right? The derivative of e to the x is e to the x as indicated earlier. But when we have e to the negative x, this is a composite function. So we have to apply the chain rule in differentiating uh, e to the x. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, extract that component, e to the negative x, and we want to find what that derivative is, because that's introducing some <clears throat> a level of complexity in the whole problem. So we want to find e to the x prime. Now to find e to the x prime, we're going to have to use the chain rule. So let's go ahead and decompose the function, okay? So we'll extract the outer function, we'll call that f of x. So f of x is e to the x, and then we'll take out the inner function, and then we're going to call that g of x, okay? So g of x equals negative x. Now we're going to differentiate both of them. f prime of x, using the rule we talked about earlier, is simply e to the x. And g prime of x, using the constant multiple rule, we know that there's a coefficient here, negative 1, right? So when we differentiate that, we have um, the coefficient of this, which is just negative 1. Now, applying the chain rule, we know that when we differentiate a composite function, as highlighted earlier, we will have f prime, the derivative of the outer function, evaluated at the inner function, and that times the derivative of the inner function, okay? So what we're gonna do, just showing you visually, is we're gonna take the inner function g of x and plug it into the outer function, and then multiply that composite function by the derivative of the inner function which is negative 1. Alrighty, so what does that tell us? It tells us that um, the derivative of e to the negative x is uh, the composite function f prime of g of x which is, let me color code it so you can see what's going on. So f prime is e to the x composed with g of x would be e to the negative x Okay, and then that multiplied by the derivative of g of x, which is negative 1. All right, and when we simplify that, we'll have our derivative of e to the negative x as negative e to the negative x. Okay, all right, so now we can go back to the function and insert this anytime we're dealing with the derivative of e to the negative x. All right, so we have y prime is going to be equal to... Um, e to the x minus e to the negative x. Now when we carry out term by term differentiation, when we differentiate e to the x, it's going to simply be e to the x. But the derivative of e to the negative x is the opposite of this function, which is negative e to the negative x, as we established using the chain rule to the right. Okay, Minus e to the x plus e to the negative x times e to the x 
And then we have another minus e to the negative x here. So the derivative of e to the negative x is negative e to the x, but you already have a plus here. So this becomes a plus, plus e to the negative x. Uh, all that divided by the denominator function squared, which is uh, e to the x minus e to the negative x quantity squared. Okay. Now, if you take a look at the numerator, what you notice is that we have identical quantities here. So you can simply distribute them, um, just foil it out. I'm going to show you something real quick. So you can just foil it out, that's just perfectly fine, or you could write it like this y prime equals e to the x minus e to the negative x square minus e to the x um, plus e to the x e to the negative x squared because they are identical uh, quantities being multiplied by each other. The reason why I wrote it this way is I just wanted to help you see that these are um, squares of differences and sum. Okay. So I can use the formula I showed you earlier for squaring um, the sum or difference of a, the square of a sum or, or, or difference. So if I square this, I can either distribute or just use the formula here, you will end up with the same answer. If we square that, this is kind of like your a minus b square, a minus b square. So when you square a minus b square, what do you get? You get a square minus 2ab plus b squared. That's the shortcut using that formula. Okay. So if we apply that here, we're going to have a square, a square, which is e to the 2x. Okay. A square e to the 2x minus 2ab. So minus 2 times a, a is e to the x, b is e to the negative x, okay? Minus 2ab plus b square. So when you square e to the negative x, you just double the exponent, right? So it's e to the negative 2x. All right, so that's the square of the first one, minus. Uh, we have to be careful here, since we have a minus and a quantity, we have to put the parentheses to indicate that the negative sign has not yet been distributed. So we square this Again, um, now we have a plus b squared. It's the same formula. We're just going to switch the first sign so that we yield a squared. Instead of minus, it'll be plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay? So a squared is going to be e to the x squared. So we just square, double the exponent, e to the 2x plus 2ab plus 2 times a e to the x times b e to the negative x plus b square plus e to the um, negative 2x. Okay, when you, squ when you square, let me just show you on this side. When you take e to the x and you square it, you just um, use the power of a power property of exponents. You just multiply the powers as e to the 2x. The same goes with the negative piece. Okay, so that's that. And it's still divided by um, the denominator function square, so over so over um, over what? Over e to the x minus e to the negative x quantity square. All right, let's go ahead and simplify further. We're going to have uh, y prime equals e to the 2x minus 2. Now, using the product property of exponents, these two have identical bases, so we'll multiply them. We'll add their powers. So x minus x is 0, so 2e to the 0 plus e to the negative 2x. Now you have to be careful here. You have a minus, so what does that mean? It means that the minus will be distributed across these three terms. Common mistake that students make. They forget to distribute the minus, so don't forget that. Okay, so minus, the first term is negated, and it's e to the 2x. 
Second term is negated also minus, all right, 2e to the applying the product of powers property of exponents. We add the powers, x minus x is 0. And then lastly, just distribute the minus to the last term, and you have minus e to the negative 2x. And that entire thing we're going to divide by the denominator square which is e to the x minus e to the negative x raised to the second power. So if you inspect what we have here, what you notice is we have some cancellation action taking place. e to the 2x minus e to the 2x, that adds up to 0, so those two take each other out. And then e to the negative positive e to the negative 2x minus e to the negative 2x, those two take each other out. And then you want to remember that um, e to the 0 is 1, okay? Any non-zero number raised to the 0th power is 1, okay? So this e to the 0th component becomes 1, and this becomes 1 also. So uh, y prime is going to be negative 2 times 1 minus 2 times 1. This e to the zeros are now 1s, alrighty? And then we're going to divide that by um, the denominator square, e to the x minus e to the negative x square. And then um, that gives us our final answer. Well, we have, uh, let's just write it, make it look pretty, minus 2 minus 2 divided by e to the x minus e to the negative x square y prime is negative 4 divided by e to the x minus e to the negative x quantity square. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the derivative of e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by e to the x minus e to the negative x. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of um, differentiation of um, composite functions, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments or special requests for um, finding the derivative of a function, do uh, place your requests, your comments um, in the comments section below, including your questions and we'll be more than glad to um, assist you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to the remainder of this differentiation collection series. The entire collection, more support resources and tools can be found on mathcoserve.com. Do check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.